Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the Nightmare Before Christmas Sophie and Toffee Disney box as well as show you how to make some cute character charms using the supplies included. So in this month's Disney subscription box we received a Nightmare Before Christmas badge spinner mold 3D Jack Straw Topper Moulds A Straw Topper Mould with other characters Oogie Boogie Dice Moulds Nightmare Before Christmas Bezel Charms UV Resin for Silicon Moulds Nightmare Before Christmas Resin Film And finally two different UV colour changing glitters so to begin making my resin charms, I firstly took the two different character moulds as well as the UV resin that came in the box. To firstly make Jack, I took some gold and white pigment as well as a few different glitters and I just poured my resin out onto a sheet of baking paper and then I sprinkled in some of the pigment. I mixed that in really well before then adding the glitter and again combining the mixture all together. It was then time to add it into the mold so I chose the happy looking Jack character and then I just had to cure this under my UV light and I also put it out in the sun to harden as well. Next we have the pumpkins so these are the pigments and glitters that I decided to go with plus also the UV colour changing glitter that came in the box as well. Again I started off by pouring in the pigment and mixing it all together before then adding all my glitters and then making sure that they were evenly spread throughout the resin. Then we have the cat character, so I'm going to be making it a dark grey colour, so I've got my pearl and my black pigments plus a few different glitters. I began with just a small amount of black and mostly white pigment, but I found as I was mixing it together it wasn't as dark as I would have liked, so after I added the glitter I went back and also added some more of the black pigment until I was happy with the colour. I then just poured this mixture into the cat mould. Next up is the teddy design, so for the base of this design I'm using a pearl white pigment and some white and iridescent glitters. Like the others I just mix the pigment and the glitters into the UV resin on a sheet of baking paper and then I just poured it into the mould. Finally we have the little ghost design, so I decided to go with my own more pastel kind of colours with this one, so I decided to make it a pink base. I actually had some leftover mixture from the teddy, so all I had to do was add in the pale red pigment and pour it into the mould. It was then time to cure the UV resin using my UV lamp, plus I also left them to sit in the sun for a while too. Once the resin had hardened, I then demolded all the pieces. So this is what they look like at the moment. Next we need to add some details, so I'm going to be using some acrylic paint. I'm beginning off with Jack, so for this charm I applied the black paint on with a brush because the details are indented, and then I just used a tissue to wipe away the excess paint. To also remove the excess paint that is closer to the details, I just carefully wiped it away with a wet cotton bud. For the eyes I applied the black paint using a dotting tool rather than a paintbrush because I find that it's much easier to control. I then just continued painting on the details on all the other designs as well using my dotting tool and needle tool at times too.
once the paint had dried, it was then time to seal it in and glaze the charms. So I'm going to be using this UV sealer. I ended up using some blue tack to hold each of the charms in place on a piece of cardboard so that I could easily move them around to also varnish the sides. I then also just cured the sealer under my UV lamp as it is a UV resin. To make my pieces into charms, I'm going to be using these clear backing bales, which I received from a previous Sophie and Toffee Elves box. But alternatively, you could use a hand drill to create a hole in the top of each one and then just thread a jump ring through that instead. I firstly attached the bales on with a small blob of UV gel to act as a glue. And then I just domed over the whole back of each charm with some of the UV resin that came in the box. Finally, to turn them into charms, we just need to add some jump rings and lobster clasps. And there you have it. This is what my finished Nightmare Before Christmas charms look like. Of course, these could have also been made into straw toppers, but I love the way that they look as little flat back charms. Adding the details with acrylic paint worked out really well, and I love the way that it stands out against the pearl glittery bases. I think my favorite would have to be the cat design, mainly because of how the bright yellow eyes contrast against the silvery gray. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!